Of all the world's flags here, today is about two, England and Wales. Fans soaking up the local atmosphere at the market before things get tense at the stadium. Are you cool, calm and collected? I'm always cool, calm and collected. Uh, just hope the, uh, the team are uh, tonight. 2 nil. Easy. No doubt, no hesitation. No, no hesitation. Yeah, we're playing for a pride and we, we can't play any worse than we did the other day. But, you know, we've got, to, we've got to win, it's as simple as that. You've got to be confident, haven't you? You've got to believe in them, because if you don't believe in them, what are we doing here? England are looking stronger to sail into the knockout stage. Wales at more risk of having to navigate a route home. Chef Bryn Williams cooked roast lamb for the Welsh squad at the weekend and knows they are hungry for success. So we had roast lamb um, and serving the lamb for, for the team, unbelievable. The atmosphere, the spirit, the joy, the passion, the banter. As you've seen the world go, the red wall, we support our team thick and thin. So if we win and go home, the support is there. If we lose and go home, the support is still be there. Support for England from 78-year-old twins Jackie and Jill, lifelong fans who've never made it overseas before to a World Cup. I think we need to look at it as a, as a really important game. I'm sure we will, but it is uh, impressive that uh, we've got as far as we have, but I want us to get even further. How are you enjoying things in general, the tournament and being here and watching England? Oh, very different from what we've done before, so that's good. I've enjoyed it so yeah. far. Yeah. Nervous? Excited? Excited probably more than nervous. For both teams, the heat is now on in this hottest of countries. Now, no World Cup would be complete, of course, without an animal scientifically predicting the outcome of the matches. You'll remember Paul the octopus, I'm sure, and Achilles the cat last time around. Well, here we are in the desert, so I think you know what's coming next. An England flag, a Wales flag, and Colin the camel facing a choice of which bucket to eat from. And there you have it. He's picked England. Colin has spoken. If it turns out he's got that wrong and this whole prediction thing was a waste of time, his mates are going to have the right hump with him. For now, all anyone can do is ponder the journey ahead. Is it further into the World Cup? or heading home. Uh, some beautiful moments in your, your piece there, Peter. All sorts of kits and hats, and great to see Colin the Camel going for England, if you're an England fan, of course. But this is it's building up beautifully, isn't it? Because both teams have played two games so far, and it all comes down to this final game in the group. Yeah, it's all about the journey. Everything's about a journey these days. And what a journey it is that's brought us here. Because you'll remember, of course, England's thumping win, a 6-2 win over Iran. Then Wales pulling things back from the brink in the second half of their match uh, to draw 1-1 with the USA. Then England's quite underwhelming uh, draw with the USA. And then Wales, of course, heartbreak for them in their match with Iran. Those two goals going in right uh, in the very closing moments of that match. So it leaves us, you've talked about this already, it leaves us at this very dramatic point where Wales need to win tonight, they need the USA and Iran to draw, or they need to beat England here by at least four goals. A shock moment that would be in a tournament which has already seen some shock moments like uh, Saudi Arabia beating Argentina and Japan beating Germany, of course. So who knows what tonight will deliver.